back to Sotko Family TV. Thank you once again for joining us. Thank you for liking our videos. Thank you for watching. And thank you so much for subscribing to our channel. Welcome all and feel at home. Now, today we're going to be talking about the royals. The royals are, are an absolute shambles. But still, instead of owning up to their mistakes, they all choose to blame and hide under the cover of the British tabloid hatred of Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex. Now, while Meghan Marco battles it out with the tabloids in court, the sinister antics, antics from the rest of the family fly under the radar. Today, November 16, marks two years since Prince Andrew's famously tragic interview with Emily Mithlis on BBC Newsnight where he spoke about his old friend sex offender Jeffrey Epstein, how he's medically unable to sweat and deny allegations that he had sex with Virginia when she was 17 years old. He has since stepped down from public duties, didn't get a military promotion on his 60th birthday, wasn't in any of the publicly released photographs at his daughter's wedding, and apparently the rest of the family never want him back in the public eye. Oh, there's also the trial coming next year on Virginia allegation that Epstein and Gail Maxwell taught her to have sex with the prince at Epstein's home in New York and other locations. Prince Andrew said he'd never met her despite that photograph we've all seen a million times of them together. And is being represented by the guy defending Amy Hammer over his cannibal rape case. Jeff's case in the fine the filing asking a U.S. judge to dismiss the lawsuit, Virginia is accused of seeking another payday at Prince Andrew's expense, that she has milked the publicity and that her pursuance of justice is distracting, is distracting resources from real victims of abuse, according to Prince Andrew. Rather than be medically unable to swear, to, to sweat, he seems medically unable to make a single correct move. Which brings us to today, when Prince Andrew celebrated his two-year anniversary since his new night interview with a new jewel in his crown. The source of Prince Andrew's wealth to fund his luxurious lifestyle has long been a mystery. He receives a 23,000 Navy pound pen, Navy pension, and mom gives him 296,000 pounds a year. Today, thanks to Bloomberg News, says that bank documents suggest that a Tory donor and friend David Rowland paid off the prince £1.7 million bank loan. Rowland is said to have transferred the money to Prince Andrew days after the prince had borrowed a similar amount from a bank the Rowlands bought in 2009. Lovely, right? Now, speaking of donations, let's have a look at what Charles has been up to. When you know that COP26 telling us all to do better, he's been battling his own dodgy donut situation. At the moment, when the royals are not taking private jets and helicopters, they are busy leaning in on the climate crisis. Prince William had a crack at the billionaire space race, which is a bit awkward considering it, it includes Richard Branson, who was at his wedding. Someone forgot to email the new royal climate strategy to Princess Anne. She took three helicopters in 12 days while her family members were busy plugging the climate crisis while flying on private jets. The queen is especially frustrated by it all. She was overheard at the Welsh Parliament ahead of the climate conference giving out about the world leaders who hadn't confirmed to attend. It's really irritating when they talk but they don't do. She said, dead right, queen. Actions speak louder than words. Except that this year, the queen's lawyers herself lobbied the Scottish government in secret to change a draft law to exempt her private estates from a carbon cutting initiative, meaning that she, one of the largest landowners in Scotland, is the only person in all of Scotland excused from a green energy rule. But back to Charles. His AD told a Saudi donor, He'd be delighted to give him a hand securing an OBE for a mere 10 million pound donation. The Times reports that the AD Michael Fawcett wrote that the prince would back the donor's application for British citizenship. You can also 
back you can also acquire british citizenship for 10 million pounds from prince charles all you need to do is make a donation to prince charles trust that's the price for an english citizenship uk citizenship the Saudi billionaire was made a CBE, a higher honor than OBE by Charles in November 2016. For state, the time states wrote to the Saudi billionaire's representative said there were three possibilities for donations to Charles' house. A one-off sum of £350,000 for a designer bridge, £325,000 a year for an education and training initiatives or £10 million to design and build houses in the area. Fawcett also wrote that Charles supported the donor's bid for a British passport. The Prince of Wales, of course, according to him, he had no knowledge. Although he had no knowledge of the cash for honor scandal, he did, however, meet the man who received money to secure the CBE for the Saudi billionaire and who brokered a personal thank you letter from Charles to a Russian donor nine times. The Times reports that a Russian businessman seeking British citizenship, Dmitry Leos, gave a six-figure donation to Prince Charles' charity which the Prince Foundation's Ethics Committee returned because of concerns about the Russian donor's background. He had been found guilty in Russia of money laundering, but his conviction was overturned. The money instead went on to another charity that Charles is a patron of Children and the Arts, according to the Times. Children and the Arts said it had no idea that any money had come to it from Leos, that they had not sent him any letter and that it was in the process of being wound up. Is it any wonder the Queen isn't feeling well these days with all of this? But hang on a minute, people. Hang on a minute. Not only stories of dodgy donations, victim blaming, sexual abuse, and greenwashing distract you from what the royal family called the real problem maker at the heart of the royal family. The only black mixed race woman in the royal family, Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. As you probably already know, she's in court at the moment with the mail on Sunday over the publication of a letter she wrote to, the, to her dad asking him to stop picking, speaking to the breast. She has actually already won this battle. And make no mistake about one thing, Megan, that is of Sussex, is not on trial. Associated Newspapers is on trial. In February, a high court judge ruled that the mail on Sunday had invaded her privacy when he published the letter, but the newspaper is seeking to overturn that ruling, saying it, it should go to trial. Email and text between her and, and her former communication secretary, Jason North, who works for Prince William and Kate Middleton and is loyal only to them, have been disclosed in court about the letter and the book written about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, showing that indeed... Finding Freedom was sanctioned by Kensington Palace themselves. And the Mail on Sunday argue that the letter was created and crafted with readership in mind. And indeed, she was happy for the public to read it if Mr. Markle were to leak it. One text that Megan sent North also suggests that the royal family were behind a decision to write the letter in the first place. The catalyst for my doing this is seeing how much pain this is causing H, it reads, as the royals were actually are actively berating Prince Harry. Even after a week with his dad and endlessly explaining the situation, his family seems to forget the context and revert to, can she just go and see him and make him stop? They fundamentally don't understand, so at least by writing H would be able to say to his family, she wrote him a letter and he's still doing it. By taking this form of action and protect my husband from this constant berating, now once again, her privacy and family relationships have been invaded. Now, Buckingham Palace once again has accused Meghan Markle of bullying. They also did the same thing to Prince Harry's mother, Princess Diana. And the original complaint was made once again by Prince William and Kate's most loyal employee, Jason North, loyal only to them, who works for Prince William and Kate Milton and has participated in actively harming Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. Last month, we learned from a report by analytics service Board Sentinel that a small group of Twitter accounts were responsible for the majority of harassment faced by Meghan and Harry. Just 83 accounts with a potential reach of 70 million users were responsible for 70% of hateful content about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Are these people who hate her? The company's CEO asked. 
Is it racism? Are they trying to hurt Ari and Megan's credibility? Your guess is as good as ours. There's no clearly mo- clear motive as Megan doesn't even live in the UK anymore. They don't even earn a penny of taxpayer money. Not a single penny. Now, Jason North is being used by Prince William and Kate Middleton to cause harm to Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. Even in the UK, clearly, he is the main leaker actively speaking with the British tabloids against Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. And he could only ever do that with authorization from Prince William himself. He can never do it on his own, but unless he gets authorization from Prince William. Now, in an effort to get justice for the invasion of her privacy, she's been exploited again. Once again, Megan's every mood and move and word is used against her. But in comparison to the rest of the family's antics for late, of late, what is she getting dragged through the mud once again for? The reason she keeps getting dragged is because she's mixed race, powerful, influential woman, the most searched royal in the world, Megan Duchess of Sussex. That's why they keep doing this to her, to her. And the fact that she's mixed race and that she refused to put up with toxicity, racism and abuse in exchange for a tiara on her head. That's why she's getting all this abuse. And also because they didn't succeed in making her commit suicide. That's why they continue their actions against her. The goal has always been to harm Megan. As Prince Harry said in the me, you can't see. That they will not stop until she's dead. That has been their goal always. That is the goal of the farm and the British tabloids. That's this never ending harassment of Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. Prince Harry said that he was his mother, Princess Diana, was, was at the back of the car with a person who was not white, and she was chased to her death. And now they're doing the same thing to Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, but they will not succeed. But today on the good news, tomorrow we shall be seeing Megan with Ellen. And I cannot wait. And for that, thank you. The royals are not going to succeed in putting Megan down. Megan will continue flying high and higher every single day. Because she's such a fantastic and amazing woman. May she continue being blessed. May, may she always be blessed. An amazing, amazing, fantastic woman. Megan, Duchess of Sussex. The woman we saw love and admire thank you so much megan for all this support thank you so much megan we cannot wait to see tomorrow's interview with l no open form against megan markle duchess of sussex will ever prosper no matter how much the royal family seeks to hide their scandals by abusing megan a mixed race woman who makes a perfect target for british racist british tabloids they shall not succeed in ever putting her down. Megan will always smile and Megan will continue thriving. Thank you so much for joining our channel today. Thank you.